Good morning, guys. We are here at Sonic um, eating breakfast. We got palm tree jobs here. Hi, and <laughs> we got palm tree jobs over in Port Aransas we're doing today. Um, I know I didn't post last week. We got behind. Um, and they were busy all week, so I didn't make a video. So likely this week's going to be a double video. I'll make two of them, uh, both of them together. At the end of last week also, the last stop, both of our cameras died, so I didn't get all the filming. So we can I kind of just cut off. So I'll see y'all later. So this is what we're doing. I got 10 of these. Too much just like this in this house that we're doing. Uh -oh, kind of a mix. Some of them are Mexican palms, some of them are here. You can see we're out here on the island. All these are beach houses, so why we sit here and cut? We're getting free advertising. So I'm gonna set the camera and you're see us as we go.
All right, guys. No, you can leave it in there. All right, we're done with uh, today. Uh, we got done with all the uh, trees on the first job, except for one uh, that was just barely too tall for its reach. And then we got to the second job site where we had two trees uh, to cut. However, we didn't uh, go look at those personally. Uh, my friend had sent me the text with the pictures and told me they were about the same height as the other trees that we did do the uh, estimate on. Promise we got there and one tree was about 26 foot, just barely out of our reach. I was able to cut some of the dead fronds off of them. And then the other one was about 35 foot, which was completely unserviceable for us. So uh, unfortunately we, we only charged a customer a quarter on that one, what we had estimated. Because ultimately we only got a quarter of the work done. And as you can see, we have the back of the truck pretty loaded down right now. Uh, not too bad. So ultimately we ended up cutting about 10 palm trees. And you know, you saw the footage from that. But uh, that's today. Tomorrow we got a spray service. And then we might be starting our another job and probably trying to go dump this stuff. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, so um, it's noon today. Uh, just about a little odds at 11. We've been busy today. We went and serviced our first uh, customer this morning. Treated his lawn for clovers and uh, gave it a week feed. And then we just got done doing an estimate for uh, a lawn. And then now we're here at the dump to get rid of all these palm fronds and a uh, Christmas tree that the customer we just gave an estimate to paid us to get rid of for them. So uh, we might get some more footage today. Also, we're putting together a uh, estimate for one of our customers for a mulch job. Um, that might be in the next week or two. And we're also trying to get another customer uh, that we just gave an estimate for a cleanup on for a uh, fresh mulch and border job as well. So. <sighs> Things, things, yeah, things are trying to pick up and uh, we might get some rain today so hopefully we get everything done before that so um, see y'all later.
to get breakfast it's about 10 04 10 05 uh we're, we're getting kind of a late start we didn't have anything immediately set up this morning so we kind of took the advantage of uh being able to sleep in which is the first time we've been able to do it in like a month and a half um especially on a sunday because we've been busy so we're getting breakfast here at the boardwalk cafe here in flyer bluff in corpus christi over here right off of uh NAS by the military base. If y'all are ever in Corpus, I highly recommend trying this place out. Uh, it's a little, you know, mom pop kind of, you know, breakfast, lunch place. It, it's really good. But um, today we have, all we really have to do is we're heading over to one of our customers' houses to a little duplex apartment that they own. And uh, well, it's more like a quadplex because we've got two downstairs, two upstairs. So yeah, I guess it's a quadplex. And uh, she originally had us do an estimate for a cleanup job, but we highly recommended doing a uh, mulch and border job up front to really improve. Uh, a lot of the mess out of that flower bed because it was just like a yeah. lot of dead, overgrown stuff. Yeah, and then um, also recommended planting a couple new plants. So we're gonna go over there, take some measurements of the uh, the beds that we're gonna be working on, and then we're gonna head over to Lowe's take a couple pictures of some uh, railroad ties, landscape timbers, borders, see what she wants. She already said she wants us to use no float mulch, uh, mulch which means cypress mulch uh, is what we're looking for. Um, she also has four to five one gallon fertile that we gotta put in as well, so we gotta see where she wants those. Yep, which means we have to call 811 to have them come mark the property so we don't hit any water lines or electrical lines. Um, so. We're not starting this until about the at least the first. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we'd be able to go through completely do a refresh. Um, we'll take some video there at the job site when we get there in a little bit. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice little fun job. Gonna get new um, GoPro batteries. <laughs> yes, uh, I need a new GoPro battery for some reason. This one here, I've had this GoPro. It's a Hero Four. I've had it since. Oh, you've had it forever. Yeah, I've had it for a long time. Um, since they first came out of it. Oh, longer than that. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, I've had this camera since 2014, yeah. I think. And I've used it off-roading with my Jeep. I use it fishing. I use it for my other YouTube channel. So, um, and I've only had one battery for it. So, it's time to, to either get a new battery or get a new GoPro. Luckily, I have a discount with GoPro, so uh, I need to look on my VIP website and see what I got that I can get a hold of but hopefully there might be some better quality uh, video coming up soon so um, look forward to that so we're gonna go and eat breakfast and I'll see y'all when we get over here to the job site and we're taking measurements all right guys so this is the property we're doing the mulch estimate on and bordering it already has these railroad ties here so we're thinking about talking to the customer and seeing if we can redo the border in these railroad ties to keep everything matching the same look. It does match the house quite a bit. So it'd be tearing up all those garden beds right there, the old metal bordering, and then placing in railroad ties. Same thing with here. Um, taking out all the weeds and stuff, laying down new fabric, and then putting new mulch. So we're about to go to the backyard right now and do some measurements for the mulch in the back. We don't know if she wants the mulch in the back yet, but we're gonna measure it out just in case she does. This plumeria here needs to be tied up a little bit, but yeah, we'll see y'all guys in a little bit. All right, so we're done running around doing errands, uh, pricing stuff. We're waiting on the customer to call back, uh, well, to text us back on the uh, mulch job so we can see if she wants to use those uh, robo ties or not or if there's a different type of bordering that she wants to use. Because uh, right now, it has that metal uh, flexible bordering and it's all rusted apart, falling apart. And uh, we're also only doing the mulching on the front. So we'll wait for 
waiting on that, uh, we came to the storage unit to pick up some gloves. Leanne forgot our headphones inside the big truck. And we're heading over to the yard that we mowed yesterday to remove a couple rocks around uh, a citrus tree that's in the front lawn that you uh, will see in the video earlier. So she just wants them taken out that way it's easier to mow around the tree and stuff like that. So we told her um, yesterday it started raining on us so we forgot, but we'll run by real fast and pick them up and take them out of there for her and we'll reuse them for our garden. So no big deal on that. Um, and they were real good with us yesterday and, and uh, paid us good more than what we asked for. So um, hopefully they're gonna be a good customer from here on out never know so i think that's gonna be it for this week i'll see y'all guys next week